Hi, in this video I will give an overview of uh, the LabVIEW formula node. Uh, so the LabVIEW formula node is a way to create and use uh, C, C code uh, within LabVIEW. Uh, here you see the formula node. So inside this uh, node you write ordinary C syntax instead of using the graphical uh, programming uh, technique used in LabVIEW. So this formula node is uh, very useful when you want to create mathematical mathematical expressions and formulas uh, do some simulations where you need to implement some discrete equations etc and so here you see a typical example uh, where I have used the formula node so you can define variables uh, with the data type and then you can set values and then you can implement one or more equations like this and then you can define inputs to the formula on the left side so you just right click on the border in order to define inputs and the same on the right side you can define outputs uh, in this video I will go through a simple example let's assume we want to convert a temperature value in Celsius to Fahrenheit using this uh, simple formula uh, with ordinary uh, lab use syntax it would uh, typically look like this you define a control TC and then you define an indicator TF and then you implement the formula using the built-in multiply divide and um, addition 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 blocks like this but with uh, the formula node you can do it like this so you just insert the formula node on your block diagram define inputs and outputs and then define the necessary formula like this so let's um, show how we can do this in uh, LabVIEW so let's start with our blank LabVIEW program I have just opened a blank uh, LabVIEW VI where I have put the front panel on the left side and I have put the block diagram on the right side and you can see uh, my front panel or my use interface on the left and then you can see the coding in the block diagram uh, to the right so let's just uh, go to the front panel and define uh, the input which should be TC and then the output then I select a numeric indicator EF like this then I right click on the block diagram, select structures and then the formula node. I put it on the block diagram and just click and drag like this. And then on the left side of the border on the formula node, I just right click and select add input and then I type the name of the variable TC. And then I define or wire this control to the variable like this. And then on the right side, I define the output TF. And then I wire the output uh, variable to this uh, indicator in LabVIEW. And then I can start uh, creating the formula within the formula node TF equals oh, sorry um yeah tc uh, multiply with uh, nine should be divided by five and add 32 like this and since this is ordinary c syntax i need to include a semicolon as well like this i know hopefully it should work so i go to my front panel run the program and then you see zero degrees Celsius um, is converted to 32 uh, degrees Fahrenheit could try with another value just click run and the Fahrenheit value is calculated uh, based on the formula we have written in the formula node like this so it's quite easy to, to use the formula node 
in order to implement uh, one or more formulas um, like this. So the formula we just used was uh, very simple and this is how we implemented in uh, the formula node compared to how we implemented in uh, with ordinary lab use syntax. So you don't see the advantage here, but if you try to implement more advanced formulas uh, like this formula, you see uh, the advantages uh, using a formula node compared to ordinary lab use syntax. So here we see a quite advanced formula where you use pi, cosinus, sinus, um, etc. And all these formulas are built in into the uh, formula node. So try this formula and try to implement it in the formula node by yourself. Um, so here you see a solution. Here I have implemented this quite advanced formula using formula node. I have defined the inputs, I have defined the outputs, and have used the built-in formulas. Um, sinus, pi is a built-in constant, cosinus, etc. Uh, so you see it becomes quite advanced. This is one way to implement it, but you can also uh, do it like this. Uh, you can split up the equation in in this case in two equations since this this formula here and uh, go the same formula applies uh, many times in the equation then i have first defined and uh, the a function called g and then uh, then i have just used this g uh, several times in in the formula like this so this way it's easier to implement and it's also easier to find bugs etc in the formula because you need to be aware of number of um, parentheses etc uh, so it's quite easy to enter the formula the wrong way but with this technique splitting um, your formula into several sub formulas it's uh, much easier to implement in addition to the uh, formula node, LabU also support what we call uh, LabU MathScript node and, and what we call LabU uh, MATLAB node. And uh, these uh, nodes uh, use a more advanced uh, syntax. Uh, familiar, those who are familiar with MATLAB, those nodes use uh, this uh, MATLAB syntax. Uh, the great thing about this syntax is it has um, uh, built-in features for um, handling arrays and matrices and it also includes hundreds or even thousands of built-in functions that you can use in these uh, these uh, script nodes in math script node uh, you need to have the labu math script rt module installed in order to use it uh, math script is what you can call a miniature uh, version of MATLAB and while the MATLAB node then you need to have the MATLAB software installed on your computer and because it communicates with the MATLAB using ActiveX. With the LabU MathScript RT module you also get a small um, what, you what you can say a miniature version of MATLAB with the um, command window, uh, plotting possibilities, etc. in addition to the math script node. So the math script node is very similar to the formula node, but instead of C syntax, you use the, uh, the MATLAB syntax, which is more or even better to use um, when it comes to arrays, vectors and matrices and it also has powerful uh, features for plotting like this uh, same with the mat, uh, MATLAB node um, it's work almost identical as the math script node but here you need to have MATLAB installed on your computer in order to use it 
the data syntax is almost identical. So let's uh, show a short demo how to use the math script and the MATLAB node in uh, LabVIEW. So let's start uh, just opening a blank uh, VI in uh, LabVIEW in the front panel and the block diagram. And then right click on the block diagram, select structures and then find the math script node, put it on the block diagram like this. And then in the same way here, you can add the inputs to the left and outputs uh, to the right. Uh, but just let's start by creating a very simple example. Since you can use um, vectors and matrices here, I just define a vector called x. It should go from 0 to 10 like this. And then define a simple function y to, yeah, let's say, 3 times x plus 2 or something. And then I want to plot, plot it. And I can just use the plot command x, y like this. And then I can run my program. And then you see we got this uh, nice plot, which plot this uh, this simple function we just created. So that's uh, LabVIEW math script node. So let's do the same uh, with the, the MATLAB node. I just delete the math script node, find the MATLAB node. It's not in the same location as the math script node, so that's a little bit confusing. So you need to go to mathematics. And then you select scripts and formula, and then select script nodes, and then select MATLAB script, like this. You could try to implement the same here, x equals to 0 to 10. Define a simple function, y 3 times x plus 2, and then we can plot it, x comma y. In this case, when I run it, um, LabVIEW starts um, the MATLAB software using ActiveX and then use MATLAB to to run this script. So, let, so the first time it could take some time. So let's start it. So you see it takes some time the first time because you need to open MATLAB, etc. And then you see it has opened uh, MATLAB and it has used the built-in plot uh, that comes with uh, MATLAB. And you see you got the same results here. So as you see, uh, LabVIEW has uh, quite powerful uh, features for creating uh, formulas and implement uh, equations using either the formula node or the math script node or the MATLAB node. So do you need uh, to learn more about LabVIEW? You can uh, go to this web page. On this web page you find lots of resources about LabVIEW. You find videos, code examples, exercises, additional tutorials, etc. So just go to the, this link and explore the features and uh, um, resources you find there. So that's all. So good luck with uh, LabVIEW and using the formula node or either the math script node or MATLAB node within uh, LabVIEW.